Hello, Lee County family. My name is Chuck Bradley. I'm Director of Positive Prevention for the District, and I want to talk to you today about some resources that are available to you while we're in this period of time known as distance learning uh, due to the COVID-19 uh, crisis epidemic that we are facing. So as part of our learning process in the district, our students engage in a curriculum of social and emotional learning every day. Most of it happens informally. A lot of it happens at the playground, in the, in the cafeteria, in the media center. It's the learning that goes on that, that helps students learn how to interact with each other, with adults, uh, to say please and thank you, to learn how to share, and to learn how to cooperate, valuable skills in our world. So we have put together some resources that will help you while your student is in a home learning environment uh, and many of these skills also uh, uh, are uh, taught directly to our students through their teachers and will continue to be taught directly by the teachers through various programs that are provided through the schools. These supports are also provided to you so that you can continue to uh, provide for that learning outside of the instruction provided by the teacher. So what are the resources? Basically, there is a document, and I'll show you that document in just a minute, that has a large number of web links to various resources that help to support our social-emotional learning standards. And we have adopted as a district these uh, standards that help to promote self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, and other skills that you see. We have placed these resources in grade level bands so that they're age appropriate and make it easy for you to access. We've also included a section just for you, the parent, and for you to use with your own family. So there are ideas and supports there for you to use as well. Uh, we provided some additional resources that come from a, a much larger approach, so there are some uh, learning games, there is a whole curriculum piece that is provided through one of our uh, providers that is available especially to our high school students or, and, and uh, middle school students. So you'll see those supports within the document. The resources include things like uh, web pages that you can go to for ideas, helps, uh, there are downloadable documents that you can use, such as a daily uh, student planner. There are video links and song links that help to uh, emphasize a particular idea or concept. And so we encourage you to use them. So to get to the resource, we encourage you to go to leeschools.net and click on uh, a link that will show up in, as a pop-up right on the main web page called Distance Learning for Students and Families. Once you click on this link, look under the Resources tab for Family Distance Learning Resources. That little document includes both academic and social emo emotional learning resources, and it looks like the graphic that's on the slide. You'll see that uh, there are also additional links to those other resources that I mentioned. So how do we use the social emotional learning resources? We encourage you to uh, start the day off using the resources and to uh, use morning routines, use routines throughout the day, but certainly to have a morning routine. You'll see in the resource that you're encouraged to start every day with what we call rise and shine. And it's just a little time to check in with your student, with your child, and uh, ask how they're feeling that day get them off to a good start. Uh, there are encouragements to have conversations at breakfast that just uh, set the student up and set your child up for a good day to get ready for learning. You can use these as brain breaks. We use them in the schools as brain breaks. Uh, so oftentimes students get frustrated by assignments or they get stressed, so these are good tools to use just in between uh, a difficult assignment uh, to give the student uh, a chance to uh, kind of catch their breath. Uh, when frustrated, so sometimes when a student is frustrated by an assignment, it's good to pull aside and take one of these activities and actually use it to unpack how we're feeling. 
Uh, and when we're feeling stressed, anxious, or lonely. Uh, this is a whole new environment for many of our, our children. So we want to make sure that they feel supported and um, they're going to be apart from their friends, from an environment that they know. And so we want to make sure that uh, we're, we're providing time and opportunity for them to talk about how they feel about this and to engage in activities that help to relieve that, that anxiety. The whole point of social emotional learning is to increase self-reliance, responsibility, and cooperation. And so these are great strategies and resources to use to help emphasize those personal skills that are so important for self-success in life. So some additional ideas. And these are just a set of resources, and we do encourage you to use them. But you are your child's first teacher. And so we encourage you to use your own ingenuity in helping teach your child about uh, their, their social and emotional needs. So talk with your children about their feelings and emotions. It's okay, and please let them know that it's okay to feel stressed, fearful, in this very uncertain time. And that by talking through our emotions, we often feel better about it, and we find that other people feel the same way. And that builds connection. Turn off the TV news. If you're used to having the TV on in the background, remember that your children are listening to what is coming across that TV, and they often internalize what they hear. Instead, put on some uplifting music. Get outside. Go for a walk together. And don't forget to have fun and laugh. And yes, use Mind Yeti. Uh, you can access Mind Yeti through uh, YouTube. It's a great tool to teach our students how to uh, use their own resources to cope with stress, how to breathe, how to think, how to focus, how to refocus, how to deal with their emotions. And remember, parents, to take care of yourself as well. Uh, remember the flight attendant's directions to put on your, your own oxygen mask first, and then your students or your child's uh, oxygen mask afterwards. Uh, we need you to take care of yourself. We'll be supporting you as well through this journey. Uh, we have a full team here at the district that focuses on social and emotional learning support. Uh, Ms. Lori Brooks, Ms. Shelley Taylor, Ms. Tammy Scott, Ms. Mary Lynn Rodriguez, Ms. Sherry Wenzel, and myself. We look forward to helping you maintain our focus on educating the whole child. Thank you.